Whew. All right, well, I am uh, riding the struggle bus this morning. Man, I'm one of those people who like counting. With that on my count, I want to quit. 135, 72. Ow. Ah, ow, ow. Okay, that's good. You fall and you break. You got changes to make now. I had all these lofty thoughts last night. I'm gonna get out of bed. I wanna sprint like crazy. I'm gonna sprint, I'm gonna hit the weights. And I got up, I'm like, oh, after all my sprint, I'm gonna hop in the cold tank. I woke up and I was like, where's my energy? I feel, I feel depleted and I ate a lot of food. Yesterday, not really, but the day before, I was looking at that video, I'm like, the food that I ate during the day and the food that I ate at that hibachi grill, just the beef and the eggs. It's like, well, that was 3,000 calories that day. Calories. <laughs> calories. I mean, the amount of food does matter to a certain degree, but the food itself matters too. I just feel sometimes on Mondays, my body is just ready to rest, but it's not time to rest. It's time to kick some Heiny. So I got up and I was like, I'm gonna walk outside because the sun's out. And and I kept sprinting. How many steps did I get? I don't know, 3,500. I was trying to do a mile and a half ish, a little bit over typically, but kept sprinting and that was all right. And then came back, but my shoulder, my shoulder's been killing me. It's feeling a little bit better now because I like looking at like exercises for that rotator cuff, but it's hard. It's hard to hit roadblocks when you're like, so I started to get my diet in check, working through that, which got my energy in check, which helped my motivation and all these things to like, well, I started doing it and having that routine and then having the motivate, finding the motivation to do it. Then I broke my toe and then I couldn't run for like six, eight months. Make it through that, then I can run even better now. Now I'm just struggling with a shoulder injury that has come and gone, but it's like mostly here, taunting me and irritating me. It's just frustrating to hit a roadblock in progress. That's okay. I'm just not gonna let it stop me. So today I, I'm just doing some curls and I feel, I feel, I feel like that one's got a good pump on it because that hurt that last one. I'm not I'm using my, my dumbbell is a uh, camera mount, so I was just using my curl bar, which the weight on it is not even that much, but you do it enough times, it starts to burn. I think it's 50, it's 60 pounds. So for both arms, that's nothing because my dumbbell's 35 and I'm thinking about upping that. But then I'm doing uh, some, I can never remember the name of that exercise where you move your shoulders like this and just trying to stretch out my shoulder and it feels a little bit better but why do i say all this well there's going to be roadblocks on a health journey there's going to be roadblocks there's going to be times they have injuries and 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 i'm i'm a worrier i but but i also know worrying is completely pointless it just i like to get ahead i like to get out ahead of things i like to get in front of things i like to put in the work and be further ahead than I would have been, but that also comes back to bite me sometimes. You gotta be also willing to rest and you gotta be willing to rest an injury. You gotta be willing to forgive yourself too for failing, but also tough love yourself and don't put up, put up with your crap. You know you, you know what you do. All right, I'm gonna finish one more set of each then kind of run out of time. I might have to wait till lunch to eat today. Let me check my calendar because I might, might be getting myself in, myself in trouble. Meh, yeah, should be good. We'll see what happens. I'll bust this out and I'll see how the kitchen is and we'll go from there. Yeah, I should have got this done earlier. I'm gonna eat a little bit. In my humble opinion, this Kirkland bacon is in from Costco is in, is uh, junk because it's the right brand. I'm not sure comparably what it, the ingredients, because I know it's not 100% clean. They're telling me I only have one egg. What the heck, man? All right, so my family is trying to get breakfast done. I'm trying to get breakfast done. I'm just gonna cook four pieces of bacon. I'm gonna cut them up in chunks and put it in this pan and then scramble in eight eggs, eight eggs, four eggs, and just call it a day, just have like a bowl. 
bowl of bacon eggs. Do you need help with that? Do you need help? No, I'm fine. Microwave the eggs. Sorry, I'm running, I'm running late today. No worries. Oh, I'm worried. The needs of the one outweigh the needs of many in my house. I need some eggs. Sounds like rushing waves in here. What's the definition of diet? That a person, animal, or community habitually eats. Let's try that again without my kids yelling in the background. What's the definition of a diet? Here's the definition of diet. The kinds of food that a person, animal, or community habitually eats. And the second one is a specific course of food to which one restricts oneself. So I got a message. Watch, I get this message quite a bit. Carnivore diet is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Think of it as a lifestyle. Yes, it's also a lifestyle. But diet, also the definition means just what someone eats. But we often think of the second one where it's restricting what we eat, which also makes sense on a carnivore diet because we are restricting what we eat to actual food. What people have been eating since the dawn of time, which supposedly now is gonna kill us all. So instead of having meat and eggs and stuff like that and living like we've lived, we now need scientists to brew up fake meat for us to eat and take plants and chop them up and turn them into fake meat for us to live. That makes zero sense to me. How did we survive this long? So when I say diet, I mean carnivore diet because I'm restricting my foods to animal-based foods. Mostly, characterized by it. And also if you look at the definition of carnivore, a carnivore needs to get 70% of its nutrition from meat. Now, I don't do math that good, but I think that means 30% doesn't have to be meat by definition. Now there's different kinds of carnivores and people argue that humans are not carnivores, they're opportunistic omnivores. Omnivores? Yeah. That that are meat heavy? Yeah, no one really knows. Everyone's just making this stuff up. Humans aren't that smart. It's like one second I have nothing to talk about. The next second I have a bunch of sassy stuff to say. Four eggs, four pieces of bacon cooked in its own fat, like in the in the milk of the, its mother, which you're not allowed to eat a goat that's cooked in its mother's milk in, in uh, Jewish law. But fortunately, the egg and the and the pig, the chicken and the the pig were not related. What is that? What is that saying about like invested and commitment? Like, oh, the chicken had an investment in this, but the pig was committed. Yeah. Eggs and bacon, baby. I may or may not eat lunch. We'll see. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that my energy level. Hey, you guys want to watch me do dishes? Okay. I'm hoping that my energy level picks up. As I just have that feeling like, even though I did my exercises. Or I ran and sprinted and walked and did all my exercises, lifted weights. It just didn't feel, it just didn't feel good. I didn't feel like I had a lot in me. And it's like, I have that feeling like, have you ever just like barely did anything? Like walked up a flight of stairs that you do all the time and all of a sudden we're like, oh man, that was difficult. Yeah, that's sinus, infection. sinus infection. Oh, you think I have a sinus infection? That's what I had when I got that. Oh yeah, that's, that's true get a sinus infection it wears me out turns me into a whiny a whiny man i was gonna say something so bad there and i restrained myself Perfect. all right that's enough for this morning i can't wait till this stupid challenge is over so i can eat some bacon eggs and beef <laughs> yeah i won't change that much for some reason i want to try cheese again i see you guys eating cheese and i'm like i remember I remember cheese with some pole. It pulls. What did they call it? I was like a pole. Was that okay? Yeah, they're eating okra slime, Nigerian food, just the way they did it. It's like a part of. I know in some cultures, like the texture, texture is a big thing, and it's like it had this pole. Yeah, look, look like snot from rocks. That's oysters, but yeah. I'm not knocking it, I don't mind okra, that slime. Honestly, if I'm gonna have okra, it's gonna be young baby okra that I grow. Yes. 
it doesn't taste that bad and that snottiness is like it, it, it doesn't bother me it's still weird when i think about it i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad that you're glad that you saw all this sorry i'll do better not heck yeah heck yeah the sun's out today felt like i was getting baked in the sun i loved it i loved it i keep debating if I should eat or not. So I'm just gonna eat something for lunch. Uh, what will it be? Oh, well, I got this hamburger. Maybe just do four ounce ball. I need a new camera, man. This guy's a schlub, not a shrub, a schlub. I don't even know what a schlub is. Hold on, let me look that up. Hey Google, what is a schlub? I'm very proud to be an Android user. Nothing. Here it goes. It's gonna tell me what a schlub is. The term schlub is a Yiddish derived slang word used to describe someone who is perceived as clumsy, unintelligent, unattractive. It's important to note that the word is considered offensive and should be used with caution. It's Yiddish. For clumsy, unintelligent, unattractive, it is part of the note that the word is considered offensive and should be used with caution. So I'm calling myself a schlub. Man, I need to be nicer to myself. Words matter, man. Words matter. So I'm putting two four ounce balls of meat in the pan. Two balls of meat and salt. A couple eggs in there too. Let's see, I'll just get that going and then I'll mash it down. Ooh, I can add a little bit of bacon fat. Oh yeah, for the smoky flavor. Hey, you need to go to the bathroom, Lily? Like a schlub dog? Yeah, you're a pretty dog. You're not a schlub. Oh. The birds outside are mating. Do you know what that means? Springs in the air. Well, this Kilby life is uh, con contagious. I feel like there's something wrong with my tripod because it's shooting out like this. I have no idea how to fix this thing. All right, I guess that doesn't matter to you. You guys just want inspiration. Actually, I have no idea what you want. Smash this bad boy down. Watch my dog. You guys have seen how much salt I put on stuff. Are you offended? Because I was just at work and I was talking to one of the guys that works there. And I was talking about that bacon that I got from Costco not being as good as the other bacon. I was like, it seems too salty. But I was like, well, you gotta also realize that sometimes salt, you know, things taste salty or less salty depending on if your body needs the salt or doesn't need the salt. And he was like, oh, my doctor says I need to cut down on the salt because of my blood pressure. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Well, one, I'm not sure I subscribe to salt is the problem. Maybe the quality of salt. But I was like, my guess is you consume way more salt than you realize. Because if you're eating processed foods and he'll, he'll drink like two, two liters a day. Yeah, I'm working here. I'm like, I guarantee there's way more salt in that than you realize, unless I have no idea how much salt is in that because I don't have any soda to look at. But at least with processed foods and different things, like there'll be a lot of salt in there and then the quality of salt will matter. I literally just realized I put my hamburger up there where the salt would be. That was not good. Put it in the refrigerator. Carnivore is good for my mind. Yeah, still slightly losing it. But I salt stuff all the time and my sodium when I go to the doctor is always in the lower end, somehow. Finally just figured out why my tripod is low. It's because it's missing one of the legs on it. End caps. Oh, there's the dog. There's people here. One. All right, two, two burger patties and two eggs. And hopefully I can find my rest of my tripod. Okay, I'll see you guys at dinner time because I was like, I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna be able to get it in the kitchen alone before they get home from co-op. Eat lunch real quick. Kind of. Kind of did it. I was just thinking of something, and now you're thinking, well, hope he's not thinking what I'm thinking. But salt. So I was like, let me look at this salt. This is not the salt I use. Salt I used to use all the time, like iodized salt. But I used to use kosher salt. But look at the back of this. Ingredients. Salt. Calcium silicate. And anti-caking agent. Dextrose potassium iodine. So explain to me why there is sugar in this salt. Sin. Sin, yeah, it's definitely sin. Hey. Watch 
your salt because it has might have sugar in it. Now that's a schlub. It's an old Yiddish term for an idiot that's unattractive that puts dextrose in their salt. Dum dum need some gum gum. I, I gotta stop. Not gonna, but I got it. Hello, hello, hello there. It's dinner time. All right. Got something special cooked up. Special recipe. You start with a mason jar. Add some arctic ice. You grab a pack of element, rip the top off, and then throw it on the floor on accident. Throw it in your mason jar. Pick up your trash. Littering is a gateway crime. Then you fill it up with water. Hold, you stay with me here. Fill it about halfway. Swirl it like this, then fill it further up. Three cups, 24 ounces. You take it like this and you go. <sighs> you think I'm cute? Thanks, that's all I heard. I'm actually not eating dinner. I just got on here to say I'm not eating dinner. Then you. I was looking at, I did the video. I did the video for yesterday and put it out. Well, it'll come out in 15 minutes. It's already scheduled, but then eating breakfast and then lunch today, I just don't feel like eating. But I was doing my macros for today and I'm at like 1300 calories, but I just don't feel like eating. My stomach just feels bloated and full, and that's that. So I don't have to eat. I think this is that wall of doom. It took me 57 days to hit my wall of doom. That beef, butter, bacon, and eggs doesn't sound good. It's the ground burger. That's what it is. That's the, that's the thing that gets me. Not all the time, just sometimes. Getting anxious about this challenge being over just because I didn't, it was like a dream. It was a dream that I had to go 60 days on this challenge and it's almost over. It's like I conceptualized the dream, I thought about the dream, I made the goal, I made the challenge and I didn't do it. And then I started, I was like, oh crap, it's gonna be a long ways away. But now it's not, it's not. I got. One, two, three, four, full, full days left after today. Then it's done. Our friend Janelle posted something that says, said six months from now, they'll either have six months of progress or six months of excuses. And that's how this challenge kind of feels like. Cool, 60 days of progress instead of 60 days of excuses but i did post on a thing well i think i'll compromise and do three months of each and, and practice diplomacy because i'm running for mayor of carnivore town all right i'll see you guys tomorrow god willing later tater just a heads up uh now i'm hungry it's eight o'clock that's all right what i did is i grabbed four chunks of meat that i had in uh, vacuum seal bags out of my f freezer in the garage when I was out there because I'm hungry and I put them in the sous vide machine. So I'm gonna eat food tomorrow. I'm just gonna call it for today. Still, but just thought I would let you know that I got hungry and, I'll, and I'm wanting a chunk of meat. So this Christmas, if you wanna give me anything, you know what I want.